Hey, so, uh, I'm playing the Phantom Pain. In this side mission, I'm supposed to extract this film crew whom the Soviet soldiers have captured. That's a pretty cool premise for a side mission. Is it a reference to the movie Argo? Uh, maybe. Well, I'm not here to talk about Argo. I'm recording because of this. Hey there, friend. Damn, that's creepy. So, yeah, this person has no face for reasons that I hope are a glitch. And I can't fault in him. Wonderful. If I can't fault in a target, that usually means that he's injured. That's fine, though. I have another idea. Sometimes a target will just yoink himself into the sky if I take him out of the mission area. I'm gonna see if that works here. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Alright, plan C. I'll bring the targets to the landing zone, one at a time. When I have them together, I'll call the helicopter. Please select a landing zone. Marker placed. Oh. All right. That one just took longer than usual. Let me just check quickly that I'm even in the correct mission area. Yeah, this is the place. Before, I thought that it was just that one NPC that was acting glitchy. But guess what? Nameless filmmaker number two also has misplaced his face. What am I going to do with you people? By the way, I hate this area of Afghanistan, and I try to avoid going through here. It wouldn't be too bad if I could Fulton him, but I'm going to be carrying him out of this ravine while also looking out for guards. That is weird. I can see a hole in his back when looking from below, but not from above. Like I was going to say before, you never know with Kojima whether a weird outcome like this is a glitch or one of his famously weird easter eggs. For all that I know, this fellow lost his face in an accident at a rapeseed oil processing plant. 
and his skull is invisible because of Cypher's camouflage technology. Who can say? Metal Gear lore gets much crazier than that at points. There's really no polite way to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, my pea shooter doesn't do jack. I just have to run. Crap, they're shooting the target. Wait here. What just happened? Boss, you killed what? Child. I did not! You're spreading lies about me, Kaz! I... I'm back. I'm somewhat starting to figure out what's going on. For whatever reason, the game is registering these prisoners as children. That's why it wouldn't let me Fulton extract them. Anyways, I went ahead and developed the children's Fulton device. Police supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Come on, kid, we're getting out of here. As much as I'd like to hang out in this sand trap, I think that the Russians are coming this way. When I'm going to rescue a prisoner, he usually says something to the effect of, Hey, come on and help me. These ones have been dead silent. <laughs> Did you hear that? That Soviet soldier said suka. That's a gamer word. Now, I'm still at a loss for why the game thinks that these filmmakers are children. There are several reasons why that doesn't make sense. Firstly, they look like grown-ass adults. And as far as I know, children are only supposed to spawn in Afghanistan, during a few plot-relevant events. Let me think. There's the third boy who appears during the fight with Sahelanthropus, and there, there's the group of Eli's friends that snuck off of Mother Base. A few of them ended up in Afghanistan, somehow.
now this sandstorm is going to delay my next extraction. Oh well. It should conceal my movements at the very least. I don't know if this is going to show up on the recording, but I'm seeing a lot of static on the lower half of my screen. I don't know what's causing that. It seems to be more severe in lower light. Let's shut up Billy Eilish before he gives us a copyright strike. Hold up. If this game takes place in 1984, how did I just collect the 1999 remaster of Rebel Yell? Oh no. I think that all of these glitches have triggered a time paradox. You good now? Yoink! Side op completed. Side ops list okay. up. Thanks for the help, DD. We made it through. Arrived at Mother Base. 